The light shone in the darkness, and the darkness did everything it could to overpower it. The darkness did its worst, and the darkness took the light and nailed it to a cross. And the darkness killed the light and buried it in the ground. But three days later, he got up. Three days later, light came bursting out of the tomb. And the light came out, and he trampled sin and death and hell and darkness, and he rose to the right hand of the Father. And he promised, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to set all things right and to make all things new. I will dwell with you. I will be your God. And you will be my people. And you will see my face. That's good news. That is good news that changes everything. In the midst of a world, in the midst of our own souls that so often feels so dark, that is good life-changing. So I just want to ask you just simply, what will you do with the light? What will you do with the light? Will you reject the light? Will you receive the light? It's really easy for us to forget about the light in the midst of the darkness. And that's why Jesus gave us the Lord's Supper that we're going to come to, because this table is a visible reminder of his presence with us. It's a visible reminder that he gave us to feed our faith, to nourish our faith. It's a reminder that he is with us in the midst of the darkness. And it's a reminder that one day we will eat and drink with him when he returns. It's a reminder that you don't have to hide in the darkness. You don't have to run away from him. Wherever you've been, wherever you are right now, you don't have to run away from him. Because the body of Jesus was broken for you. The blood of Jesus was poured out for the forgiveness of your sins. And one day we will eat and drink with him when he returns and the darkness will pass away and night will be no more.